as it was proved by Dalton that matter is made up of small particle called atoms and we, uh, we knew many things about matter now the classification and all. Then the second question which we came to our mind was that what actually the structure of the atom like it is comp uh, is it composed of certain particles what are the arrangement or we can know anything uh, we can know everything about an atom by knowing its structure so the second question was what actually the structure of atom was so many scientists were trying to find out the structure of an atom but the first volunteer was jj thompson so keep in mind that jj thompson was such a volunteer that he made the first attempt to discover the structure of atom and also he made the first attempt to discover the subatomic particle that is electron as i told you before that the subatomic particles electron proton neut neutrons were discovered but the first discovery was done by jj thompson so jj thompson somehow failed to explain the structure but still he made the first attempt so let's see that how he made the attempt and what was the reason that his model failed. So he, uh, he according to him when he was uh, giving the structure of atom he said that atom is positively charged sphere. This he, this he concluded by performing various experiments. So he said atom is positively charged sphere means a sphere which has uniform positive charge dis distributed all over right. Then he said that it contains the few negative charge particles. It contains the few negative charge particles like this. And the arrangement is such that, that you must have seen the cake, right? When we see a cake, it, ha it is beautifully white cream or uh, you say a strawberry flavor or pink. Uh, the color can be anything. You know? So that means the whole color of the cake is one but it has the red cherries embedded in it. So he compared the model with the plum pudding model yeah, or you can say the watermelon. He, say, he said as the cake has cherries in it, so likewise the atom has, the positive charge atom has the fewer electrons acting as cherries in the, in the uh, this thing, the atom. So that means he compared the model, the, compared the electrons with the cherries and the cake base with the atom, this positively charged sphere. And he said that he, his model, he named his model as plum pudding model. I'm repeating again, just listen it carefully. He said that atom is positively charged sphere with few negative charges scattered all over, right? And, and the model was called as plum pudding model. Now, the question uh, I think which is striking in your mind is that, that it is the observed fact that opposite charges attract each other, right? We know positive char opposite charges, positive can attract negative, negative can attract positive. So that means opposite charges attract each other. So how is it possible that so many positive charges are present and they couldn't attract the fewer negative charges which are, uh, uh, which are scattered in the, you can say, the sphere? This is not possible because they would have been neutralized by such huge positive charge. So this was the main, the, you can say the limitation that J.J. Thompson failed. Actually, you know what he said in his favor, he said that the negative charges are such that, that we can uh, listen to me again. He said that neg fewer negative charges are scattered. So he, say, he knew that opposite charges attract each other. He knew that many scientists will raise a question that how come it is possible like the question same coming in the mind that how it is possible that fewer negative charges remain scattered in a huge positive charge sphere. They would have been neutralized. The positive charge would have been neutralized this small negative charge. But he said that the repulsions between the negative charge charges, the repulsions between the repulsive forces between the negative charges are just balanced by the attractive forces which they are experiencing from the center of the atom. So he said because these forces are balanced, the repulsive forces between electrons and the attractive forces which the electrons were uh, this thing experiencing from the center are actually balanced and he said that is why these electrons remain scattered. 
but it was so uh, sad to believe that this model actually failed because because it it is not possible that pure negative charges remain scattered whether the forces are balanced or not but still it is impossible for this kind of structure to exist in nature that is why we say that he failed to explain again the stability of an atom but no no worries jj thompson was still a volunteer to made a first uh, invention or to make a first discovery is a great achievement it doesn't matter it fails or it succeed but still the the, the you can say the attempt was a good one